Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. Hello, welcome to this short presentation on object server backup and recovery. Example system use was Nickel Omnibus 8.1 on a Solaris system. The object server in the example was configured as the primary aggregation object server. The main object server files are kept in the Netcall Omnibus DB directory in a directory named after the object server, as defined in the omni.dat and properties files. This directory holds three types of files, tab, check and log, with two file names master underscore store and table underscore store. The master store files hold mostly static data, the table store files hold mostly dynamic data. The check and log files are created whilst the object server is running, whilst the tab file is the last reconciled object server file, which is created when the object server shuts down gracefully. When an object server is shut down gracefully, the object server directory will contain just two tab files. If the object server exits unexpectedly, it may not be able to create the tab files. In this case, the object server DB directory will contain the last set of tab files along with the check and log files. It is recommended that backups are performed regularly. An example trigger is provided for this purpose, automatic underscore backup. By default, only two sets of tab files are kept. Before enabling the automatic underscore backup trigger, decide on how many backups are required, the frequency of the backups, then create the backup directory structure. To enable the trigger, set the num underscore backups value and the trigger's period using the administration tool, then enable the trigger. Monitor the backup directories and disk usage to ensure that there are no issues and that the backups are being created successfully. There is no fixed set of backups that need to be taken. Consider the general guidelines and fit these within the requirements and limitations of your system. It is a good idea to have ad hoc backups from whenever major updates are made, along with a set of regular backups. A good backup frequency will depend on how much an impact taking a backup has on the system, matched along with their usefulness and available resources. In general, a backup frequency of 15 to 60 minutes is adequate for the aggregation layer. By default, the automatic underscore backup trigger puts the backups in the Omni Home Backup Object Server directory. Therefore, create this directory structure so that the trigger can create the backup directories and dump the tab files. To recover an object server using the backup files, first make sure that the object server process is stopped. Check the current object server files to see if they are recoverable using the nco underscore check underscore store command. If it is not recoverable, then use the latest backup files. Rename the current object server db directory and copy the latest backup directory to the object server directory. Run the object server from the command line and confirm that your system works as expected. Once it is confirmed the backup files are OK and the object server behaves normally, stop the object server using control C and run the object server under process control as normal. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.